everyone, my name is Sriti Gaide and I am a third year dental student and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for your lovely comments and appreciation on the first video. It really motivated me. Unfortunately, the cases of mucormycosis are still rising and there is a high number of patients who are getting infected by mucormycosis. Today, I will be answering some of your questions that you all asked after my first video. So, let's get started. Why is mucormycosis called black fungus? Basically, when the fungi enter your body, they destroy the tissues and the surrounding structures, giving them a black color. Also, on progression of the disease, your skin also turns black in color. Hence, it is called as the deadly black fungus. Can mucormycosis spread from one person to other? No guys, y'all can be relieved. Mucormycosis is not contagious. The patients suffering from mucormycosis require a lot of care and so if there is someone around you, please do not be scared and help them out as much as you can. How can we get early diagnosis? In my first video, I had stressed on the importance of early diagnosis. So how can you get an early diagnosis? If you have been infected by COVID, it is advisable that on the 14th day, you get an x-ray of your sinuses done, especially if you are already suffering from diabetes. When you show this to your doctor, they can check for the sinus involvement and if an involvement is seen, it can be stopped at an early stage. Why does mucormycosis affect the eyes and nose only? So you can be wondering how can the fungus reach your eye, your nose or for that matter your upper jaw. Basically the fungus invades your four major sinuses and one of them is the maxillary air sinus. The maxillary air sinus has four walls. The upper wall is in connection with your eye and there is a very thin layer of bone which is present between them. The lower wall is in connection with your upper jaw and the upper teeth. The outer wall is in connection with a lot of important blood vessels and the inner wall is in connection with your nose. When the fungus invades any of these walls, the fungal invasion can be seen in different parts as mentioned earlier. Is it true that mucormycosis is seen only in ICU admitted patients and not others? There is a major misconception amongst people that mucormycosis occurs only in patients who have been admitted into the ICUs. This is not true. However, it is true that the patients who are on oxygen support and are admitted in an ICU are at a higher risk of developing mucormycosis as when they are given oxygen, there is a chance that it can be infected by the fungal spores during the humidification process of the oxygen. However, if you have tested positive for COVID, it means that later you can be at risk for mucormycosis. Will surgery always be needed? No guys, a surgery is not always required. If diagnosed early, we can treat mucormycosis with antifungal therapy like amphotericin B and some other drugs. However, if the involvement has increased and crossed the sinuses to other parts, then surgical involvement will be needed. What will happen after surgery? What about my face and its aesthetics? Another concern that a lot of people have is that what will happen if a part of my jaw is removed? How will I eat further? Guys, this is not something that you need to worry about. Right now, the priority is to save your life and not aesthetics. However, you can be relieved as a lot of prosthetic work can be done later and your jaw can then be restored as normal. A new case has now been seen by some clinicians. So a patient visited a dental clinic showing signs of mucormycosis having no COVID history. When the patient was subjected to blood tests, the antigen test came positive. 
which meant that the patient was earlier infected by corona but however he was unaware about it as it was asymptomatic the reason i am telling you this is not to scare you but instead tell you that if you are facing any symptom do not ignore it just on the basis of the fact that you have not had covid prior there can be a chance that you were an asymptomatic patient of covid and now some signs of mucormycosis are being seen i hope this video has given you a little more clarity on what mucormycosis is i know we are all going through a very difficult time right now but don't worry even this time will pass till then follow all the covid protocols stay home stay safe and i will see you in my next video Thank you for watching.